It's your boy. You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, you up to bat. Bye. Tell me I hate to fucking go. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022. Focus on you in 2022, man. I was reading the comments. Y'all was like, yo, Laid Back, you gotta check out Joe Biden when he was saying some crazy stuff. Cause I, I did the Donald Trump most savage moments or something like that. I couldn't find that video. So y'all gotta send that video to me on my Instagram or Twitter or something like that. Laid Back DFR, send it to me. I seen highlights from Trump and Biden's chaotic first presidential debate. So we're going to get into that where they're going back and forth. So if y'all got that video with Joe Biden saying some crazy stuff or savage moments, send it to my Instagram and we're going to get into it. But like I said, this is highlights from Trump and Biden's chaotic first presidential debate. I'm sure this is going to be crazy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire squad. What's poppin'? Let's get it. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? Sure. Stand back and stand by. Will you Who shut is up, man? Listen, are you I'm, in favor of law and order? I'm in favor of law. You follow Are you in favor of law and order? Go yes, ahead. I'm I'm you ask a question, let him finish. Law and order. Loses I, law and order. Him, let... Can you imagine both of these dudes getting in a boxing ring and fighting? Who do you think would win? Because this is like, this is like, almost like entertainment boxing type stuff. Let's go. Then Law and order with justice, where people get treated fairly. Mr. Protect people President, I'm the moderator emotions. of this debate, and I would like you to let me ask my question, and then you can answer. Go your ahead. Question. Your party that wants to go socialist my medicine. My party is and me. And socialist right healthcare. now. I am. And the they're going to dominate party. you, Joe. You know that. I am the Democratic <sighs> Party right now. The platform of the Democratic Party Harris. is what I, in fact, approved of. First of all, I guess I'm debating you, not him, but that's okay. I'm not surprised. The fact <laughs> is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But I, I just want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, I, not I, first in your I, class. <laughs> oh, God. I want to make <laughs> You graduated last year. What? Yo, this dude is so petty, bro. Donald Trump is so petty. Mr. Sure. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He has, You'd you know, surprised. you, you picked <laughs> the ahead, wrong Joe. guy, oh, the wrong night at the wrong time. Listen, that was really a pr productive segment, wasn't it? This is the same man it's who all told set you up. by Easter this had be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous, like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm, and that would take oh, care of it. This is the that same man. That was said sarcastically. That was the whole <laughs> issue relating to COVID. He still hasn't even acknowledged that he knew this was happening, knew how dangerous it was going to be back in February, and he didn't even tell you a lot of people died, and a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. Sir, Mr. President, did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't go to <laughs> Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Oh, Don't ever use that word. Oh, oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. So we oh. built the greatest economy in history. We closed it down because of the China plague. And he wants to close down the... He will shut it down again. He will destroy this country. You can't fix the economy until you fix the COVID crisis. And he has no intention of doing anything about making it better for you all at home. No, people want their schools open. They don't want to be shut down. They don't want their state shut down. They want their restaurants. I look at New York. It's so sad what's happening in New York. It's almost like a ghost town. Want I'm to the one safe. that brought back football. By the way, I brought back <laughs> Big Ten football. It was me, and it, I'm very happy to do it. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. You paid millions, millions of dollars? Millions in, of dollars, So yes. not 700 Millions of dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. I, and you'll get to when, see it. When? But let me Shala? just tell you. I don't want to pay tax. Be before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws, and that's what it is. Gentlemen, is <laughs> I hate to raise Chris, my voice, but I see it seems to be, he's why should I be different than the two of you? This is a president who has used everything as a dog whistle to try to generate racist hatred, racist division. 
And I'll tell you what, the people of this country want and demand law and order, and you're afraid to even say it. But look, wow. the vast majority of police officers are good, decent, honorable men and women. They risk their lives every day to take care of us. But there are some bad apples. If he ever got to run this country, and they ran it the way he would want to run it, we would have, we would our suburbs would be gone. By the suburbs. way, our suburbs would be gone, and you would see problems like you've he never seen. He would know right. a suburb unless he took a wrong turn. Oh, I know suburbs he would not. so much I was better. Wait, go ahead, I would, wait a minute. I was so raised in the suburbs. What's, what really is- Yo, these dudes is really going back and forth. Like, look at Donald. And he getting under Joe Biden's skin too. Like Joe Biden, you gotta be calm, and you know Donald Trump is is an irritant. You gotta chill, bro. But he getting them out of this out of his bag. He's a threat to the suburbs and their safety. Is his failure to deal with COVID? They're dying in the suburbs. Mm. I, and, I, and you know, if you want to switch seats, we, we could very quickly. We could do that. You very have quickly. repeatedly we, criticized the the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left wing extremist right. groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and says, sure. to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say then do it. it. Do say it. it. Say it. Do you want to call him? What do you want to call him? Give me a name. Yo, he just told you what the name was. Why he ducking? He ducking, man. He ducking, man. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right Proud, Proud boys. boys. Stand Proud back boys. and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. He ain't said it. President, we become weaker, sicker, hey. poorer, more divided, and more violent. When I was vice president, we inherited a recession. I was asked to fix it. I did. We left him a booming economy, and he caused the recession. Mr. President, your campaign agreed to both sides would get two-minute answers uninterrupted. Well, your, your side agreed to it, and why don't you observe what your campaign agreed to Ooh. as a ground rule, okay, sir? He never keeps Ooh. his word. No, back, no, no, I'm not asking. I, that was a Yo, they had they to like some kids up in here. They had to like some kids. He agreed to two minutes. Don't interrupt. He, Rhetorical <laughs> question. Can you go add ahead, back sir. 30 seconds? Yeah, because, yes, okay. you may have. All right. Go ahead. He was not a loser. He was a patriot, and the people left behind oh, there really? were heroes. Really? And I resent Are you talking like about Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about I don't about know. Bo. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. It wasn't dishonorably. cocaine use. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow. That is simply and various not other places. true. He my made son, a fortune. Gentlemen, my son. And he didn't have a job. My son, like a lot of people, like a lot of people we know at home, had a drug problem. He's overtaken it. He's, he's, he's fixed it. He's worked on it. And I'm proud of him. Do you believe that, that human pollution, gas, greenhouse gas emissions contributes to the global warming of the planet? I think planet? a lot of things do, but I think to an extent, yes. I think to an extent, yes. But I also think we have to do better management of our forests where not they want true. to take out the cows, too. Not you know, that's true. not true either, right? He cannot stop you from being able to determine the outcome of this election. And in terms of whether or not when the votes are counted and they're all counted, that will be accepted. If I win, that will be accepted. If I lose, that'll be accepted. But by the way, if in fact he says he's not sure what he's going to accept, well, <laughs> let me tell you something. It doesn't matter because if we get the votes, it's going to be all over. He's going to go. He can't stay in power. It won't happen. It won't happen. So vote. Just make sure you understand you have it in your control to determine what this country is going to look like the next four years. Is it going to change? You get four more years of these lies. As far as the ballots are concerned, it's a disaster. <laughs> a solicited ballot, okay, solicited is okay. You're soliciting, you're asking, they send it back, you send it back. I did that. If you have an unsolicited, they're sending millions of ballots all over the country. If it's a fair you're election, what? I am 100% on board. If but if I one. see tens of thousands of ballots being manipulated, I can't go along with that. Our military, they've been voting 
by ballots for since the end of the Civil War, in effect. In effect. It's the same process. <laughs> it's honest. No one has established at all that there is fraud related to mail-in ballots. It's already been established. President Trump, Vice President Biden, it's been an interesting hour and a half. I want to thank you both for participating. All right, that was highlights from Trump and Biden's chaotic first presidential debate. Crazy. Like I said, these dudes seem like this is like boxing face off or something like that. Like they were just going back and forth with each other. They wasn't letting each other finish. They was calling each other liars. Donald Trump was talking about dude's son being on drugs. He talk about the mail-in ballots. We already know what, where that was after that, how, you know, that was a big thing even, you know, during the election, the whole mail-in ballots. That was uncivil. These dudes going back and forth at this press. He was like, bro, y'all, your team agreed to two minutes and no interruptions. Can't you at least do what you agree? Oh, he's a liar. He can't never stand on his word. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Like I said, if y'all got that Joe Biden Savage Moments video, make sure y'all send it to me on my Instagram. Drop your comments down below, man. I want to read those and see what y'all talking about because this was, it, it was chaotic. But till next time, man, self-love and positivity. Hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Laid Back, man. I got you when you know it. Hey.